Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my November update to my project Use It Up. This is going to be the last update for the fall and the finale will be the last day of November. The introduction to the winter will be December 1st. So yeah, I have a ton of progress to show you guys. October, I like kicked it off with all of the body care that I finished. So I finished off a ton of stuff. I have a lot of empties to show you guys. So I hope you're excited. I hope you're ready because it's going to be great. I do also want to say I'm using cinematic mode on my phone. I've never really recorded with it before, but I really wanted to try it because I've seen other users use it for videos. So let me know what you guys think. Um, it should be interesting when I start to like put products up to the screen. So we'll just see how it goes and you guys let me know your thoughts down below. Please be nice. But anyways, let's get started with the empties because I have so much to show you guys and I'm going to put in some new stuff as well. So let's start with empties. Okay, first empty I have for you guys is Sugar Cherry Crisp in the shower gel. Oh, look at that beautiful zoom. So I finally finished her off. I'm so excited. So we started out, it was full, it was a full bottle and then down to here in a month and then all the way used up in two. So did really good on this. I thoroughly enjoyed this scent. The notes are bright cherry delight, crumbled graham cracker and spun vanilla sugar. This smells just like cherry pie or really just like cherry pie filling, not the whole pie, but smells so delicious i'm i'm sad that it's gone i'm really sad that it's gone um i hope they bring it back out again for like sas or something so we can pick it up again but i loved the scent so so happy the next one i finished off is the body lotion and cinnamon donut swirl so yeah i did finish her off really happy with myself you can see the progress lines actually kind of wiped off so we started all the way up here i think it's right about here and then all the way down. So two months again to use this one. The notes are sweet cinnamon, brown sugar, and fluffy dough. I really enjoyed this. It was like very simple. Sorry if you can hear the construction going on over there. Sorry about that, but this was a great fluffy dough scent is totally what it is. Very light though. It definitely did not linger. This was like my favorite one to put on at night just because it wouldn't scent up for too long it wouldn't irritate me when I was going to bed and it was a little comforting too so yeah I did enjoy this one wouldn't really get it again it wasn't wowing but it was still good I did finish off two minis the first one I finished is the strawberry pound cake shower gel from last fall oh my goodness there we go and I really enjoyed this one I love strawberry pound cake um I don't think I could ever use it in a full size because I would get really sick of it really fast. They bring it out every year and they always have it in minis. So I'll repurchase a mini again when I get the hankering for strawberry pound cake, but I'm good for now. And then I also finished off warm vanilla sugar in the mini lotion. And yeah, this is just a great, super simple vanilla scent. Really loved it. Um, I love warm vanilla sugar. I wish it would be as strong as it was when it first came out or when it was at its peak in like the 2010 era 2010 and before um but it's not but that's okay i did finish those off and we're good with that and the last empty i have for you guys is sweet whiskey in the celestial body scrub i'm so happy i'm not so happy that i finished this off because i actually really enjoyed it this is my first time using the celestial scrub and it was amazing amazing formula it was very gentle so i pretty much used this every single day it left me feeling moisturized i loved it and sweet whiskey is like a nice simple scent i don't think it was too overpowering but it was a little sophisticated so i felt really nice and like luxurious in the shower the notes are golden amber vanilla infused liqueur and sweet red berries so yeah it was like a vanilla berry amber scent really really nice i loved it so that is Sweet Whiskey in the Body Scrub. Oh, I did forget, I finished off a mini perfume. Sorry, this is now the last empty. This is the Replica Autumn Vibes Perfume little mini travel size sample. I really liked it. It was a great autumn scent, like totally a pumpkin patch scent, um, a cold autumn day. Beautiful, beautiful scent, and I think I'm gonna get some replica perfumes for christmas i'm gonna ask for some or i'm gonna buy them for myself maybe on black friday i have no clue but i would definitely repurchase this i don't think i would get it in the full size it's not quite full size worthy for me but definitely in like 
a travel size or a rollerball or something. Okay, so that's all the empties. Let's start with updates. So the first one I have an update on is my, you know, pink velvet cupcake and velvet sugar combo. It was a combo with the cherry, sugar cherry crisp shower gel, but that's gone now. So I'll just update you guys on these two. So pink velvet cupcake, I have made some good progress. So let's see if I can show you guys. I went from up here to the, I don't know, not the middle, like a third of the use. And now we're pretty much like only a third left. So I'm enjoying this so much. Pink Velvet Cupcake is one of my favorite scents. It's just a beautiful marshmallow berry scent. I'm really missing this in the Fine Fragrance Mist. So I hope they bring it back out for um, winter, maybe for SAS, maybe for Body Care Day. I don't know. But I really hope they bring out Pink Velvet Cupcake again because I am like kind of missing it. But... Yeah, that is Pink Velvet Cupcake and then Velvet Sugar. I have gotten from here to here progress on it. So not a lot. Um, I do alternate between this one and the other one that I'm about to show you. So I don't get too much use out of this one. But every now and then when I want a fruity one or if I want something to mix with Pink Velvet Cupcake, I'll pull this out. So I'm not using it too much. I'm going to continue to try and use it up. Um, I'd love to get it down to this blue line by the next update, but that might be a little ambitious so we'll just see on that one the next scent combo i have to update you on is almond blossom i guess it's not a combo but it's like a set of items <laughs> so yeah almond blossom i'm using the fine fragrance mist like as my main mist during the day um so i have about this much progress on it so not a ton but i'm still definitely getting through it and i think i will be at the bottom of this white packaging line which is where i wanted to be um before the end of the project so doing good on almond blossom the shower gel i also i actually did not make a lot of progress on this one because i was very much focusing on sugar cherry crisps so i only got a little bit but i will definitely be able to finish this much in the next month and that is going to be my goal i'm going to be focusing on this one to finish it in the next month same thing with almond blossom in the body lotion because i think i only have about this much i can't tell because it is not see-through I think I did a little bit of progress. I really can't tell where it's at. It's about right here. If I squeeze it, I can kind of tell. Um, so yeah, definitely can finish this off in the next month. It's It feels light. It feels like I have like a third left. So definitely can finish this off and I will focus on finishing this one in the next month. And then the other scent combo, the last one is Cinnamon Donut Swirl and Bonfire Bash. So obviously I finished up the um, body lotion in this one. So I need to finish up the shower gel now. I did not make a lot of progress on this one in the last month. As you can see, I did little, little, oh no, sorry. That actually is a incorrect line that I did earlier today. Um, so ignore the line that my finger is over, but this is actually my progress from here to here in the last month. So I did make a little bit of progress, but I can definitely finish this much off in a month. So I will be focusing very heavily on finishing this one as well as Almond Blossom in the shower. And then Bonfire Bash is just sitting at my desk for work. So I did not make too much progress on it, but I did make from here to here. So still doing good on Bonfire Bash. I just want to keep using it up. I think the scents that I put down on my desk, I'm just going to try and like keep them until I finish them off or if I get sick of them. I'm not sick of it yet. So doing pretty good. Another thing that I have on my desk is the Peppermint Essential Oil Aromatherapy Hand Lotion. And this one, I have a little bit of progress. You can't even see the line, honestly, so I'm not gonna show you, but it's like literally tiny amount. So I've been using about that amount though every month, um, but I only have this much left. So I'm doing really good. I don't use a ton of it um, every month. So this hopefully can get finished off by December. I'll just keep it in and see, but I'm still enjoying it. It's still kind of like relaxing to put on. So still really enjoying this one. Another couple of things that I'm going to focus on finishing up in the next month because they're actually pretty easy to finish. Champagne, apple, and honey in the body cream, the little mini because I'm literally down here. I can finish this off probably in two showers, like after two showers. So I'm going to focus on this one as well. Like I can definitely finish this off very quickly. And then white coconut caramel hand cream. I'm also using this at my desk at work. Um, and every now and then I'll like pack it in a purse that I'm going to bring with me like for the day if we're going to do like an outing on the weekend or something. It's a great, I'm loving this and it's so yummy. Um, and I do have quite a bit of progress on it. So I definitely can finish this up in the next month if I just 
focus on it and remember to use it while I'm sitting at my desk. Okay, last update before I show you guys some things that I'm going to put in the project that are new. So this uh, is the pumpkin spice latte sugar scrub from Tree Hut. I am about halfway, well, yeah, I would ish, halfway ish on here. Um, the packaging does, if you guys don't know this, it does like indent at the bottom. So it's not quite as much as it looks like, but that's my progress. I'm definitely making good progress on this. And I feel like if I also focus on this one in the shower this month, I'll use it up. It's just hard to use because it's so, it is so intense of a scrub. It is very, very coarse and rough. So it kind of hurts. So I've only been able to use this like once or twice a week, but I'll try and up it to twice a week in November. It'll help as well because it's gonna start getting colder and I'm gonna need to exfoliate more often. So I'm just gonna focus on finishing this one finishing this one up because I feel like I can really get through it if I just focus on it. Okay, I am actually gonna take out the Kaoli Vanilla 28 Perfume, which I am about halfway use on. Oh my gosh, I'm about halfway used and I don't wanna finish it. So I'm gonna take this out and instead, I'm going to actually put in Midnight Amber Glow in the perfume. I just got this in the mail like two days ago and I really wanna try it to see if I love it. Um, because if I love it, then I'm definitely gonna pick it up for like body care day or um, SAS if they still have it around. So I'd like to know before then if I want a backup. So yeah, I'm gonna try and use this next month and just figure out how I feel about it. Um, but honestly, my perfume collection, I'm not trying to use up very quickly. I Perfume is something that I'm really experimenting with this year. I haven't really used a ton of them before or at least a ton of high-end ones or at least perfume at all actually i really haven't in the past used perfume so this is a new avenue for me so i'm not trying to use up anything really for perfume um i'm just trying to experiment and see how i feel so that's the gist for the perfumes but yeah i'm just gonna have midnight amber glow in for this month and i don't actually remember if i introduced the ariana grande sweet like candy perfume last month but i do have this little mini um Coffret is actually what it's called. I did not know that until they started bringing out the holiday sets this year. But um, this scent is so yummy and I have been using it over the last month. I don't remember if I put it in my project or not, um, but I really do love this scent. And I wanted to mention that they are bringing out um, an Ariana Grande little mini Coffret set again this year. They haven't brought it out for like quite a few years, but they are bringing it out for Christmas time this year. It's already out. You can already buy it. I think it's like $30 for all of her perfumes in little minis. And I totally recommend it if you've been dying to try her perfumes. And these are so cute, perfect to travel with too. Like I love this. Okay, so I'm gonna put in a new body scrub because I did finish off the sweet whiskey one and I want something that I can use like every day just like I was using that one. So I'm gonna put in Midnight Amber Glow in the body scrub, in the creamy body scrub formula. I've never tried this formula before, so I'm interested to see. Also, again, I'm testing out Midnight Amber Glow to see if I like it, because if I do, then I'm definitely gonna, you know, put backups on my wish list, put backups on my wish list, so that way I can, you know, grab some during SAS or whatever um, before it goes completely out of stock. So yeah, I'm gonna try and um, get some use out of this one. Completely unused, like I just, I'm, I just opened it today. So yeah, that is Midnight Amber Glow in the body scrub. And then I'm also gonna put in Midnight Amber Glow in the moisturizing body wash. I love this packaging on here too. Can we just talk about how pretty this is? Oh my gosh. So, and I don't think I said the notes on this. Smooth Amber, Caramel Latte, and Vanilla Bourbon. So basically like a coffee scent. Um, I think this is going to be great to replace Sugar Cherry Crisp. Obviously, I'm going to focus on Cinnamon, Donut Swirl, and Almond Blossom first to finish up. But every now and then I'll like incorporate this when I feel sick of those other two scents. But yeah. It's a great scent. I think this will be really good for morning showers, for like weekend showers. I don't know why, but on the weekends, I always feel like a like coffee scent. So this one is also going to go with Vanilla Mocha Cafe. This is the queen herself from 2020. Yes, you guys know, um, since I take so long to finish off my fine fragrance mist, I still have the one from 2020, but they did bring it back out as Vanilla Mocha Martini this year, same exact scent. But yeah, this is Vanilla Mocha Cafe. Gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. I cannot get over how beautiful this one was. Um, but I am about right here on the packaging. 
And I feel like these two together are gonna be the perfect combo, along with the perfume too. Just so yummy. The perfect like mocha co coffee, cozy scent. It is beautiful. So really happy to have these two as a little combo. I feel like I might even like love it so much I'm gonna bring it into the winter. So we'll see about that. But yeah, gonna incorporate these two. And then I'm also going to bring in White Pumpkin and Chai, also from 2020 in the Fine Fragrance Mist. And this one is about right here on the packaging. So I have not used it a lot. I have to be really in the mood for this one, but I have been in the mood for it lately. So I'm gonna bring it out and just, you know, try to get some progress on it. And this is like a great Thanksgiving scent too. I wear this every year for Thanksgiving, since I got it in 2020 at least. So yeah, excited to bring it out. It's a great pumpkin-y scent. So I'm just gonna use it while I'm still in like that pumpkin mood before I transition to winter scents. And the last thing that I'm going to bring into the project is Open Sky in the body cream. Now I did try to declutter this one, but nobody wanted it. So I'm gonna have to finish it off myself. Um, but I was not the biggest fan of Open Sky. I feel like it's a little too floral for me, but I feel like I'm just gonna try and finish it off because there's so there's such little in this that it'll only take me like a week and I can finish it off after Pink Velvet Cupcake um, and after this little mini champagne apple and honey too so that way i have something going in case i do finish off all my moisturizers before i put in the winter stuff so that is open sky right here and that's the last thing that i'm putting in the project okay so that is everything for the last and final update to my fall project use it up i've got a lot of stuff that i need to finish but i'm feeling good i feel like we finished a lot of stuff last month and we're so close on a lot of stuff for November that I can really just like push through this month and try and finish up some stuff. And then I feel really good about my body care collection. I'm already picking out my stuff for winter. If you haven't already, you need to be watching my vlogs because I talk about my project Use It Up like constantly in those vlogs. And I talked about it last week, picking out my winter scent. So go check it out if you haven't already. But yeah, that's everything for the fall project, Use It Up. Let me know down below if you've already transitioned to winter scents or not. I'm curious to see. I haven't yet bought any new winter scents, so I haven't transitioned. But let me know if you have already because they had that 550 deal and that was a great deal. So I don't blame you if you're already transitioning. But yeah, that is everything for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.